Ooh, what is up, you guys? And of course, welcome to another Pocket Topics video from yours truly, the Sea Render. And today's video is about electric types and actually the reason why physical electric mods are not possible or at this moment non existent. And uh, my hopes in the end of this video that you will get a better understanding on the evolution of the electric type and uh, probably the reason why the physical ones aren't as successful and more than more than so than they should be for that matter and we're gonna start with of course the history of of course electric type the electric type for generation through of course the first one until the third one was very strict based on how it was obviously walled out by a ground type for all sorts of purposes and rarely have any moves that are gonna hit them outside of hidden power ice or water but they were pretty much the same in that fashion that they generally were really really speedy a lot of special attack and since this, the stats were based on or the stat was based on special attack it made sense for it to have a bit about the average special attacks and just from there on out actually hurt a lot of things with that in mind they really were physical or they really really wasn't the the strongest physical electric type till the generation four was actually Electabuzz and uh, Zapdos. Zapdos worked somewhat mixed with, of course, Drill Pack, but that was more for Generation 1 and definitely changed throughout the generations, since, of course, in the powers and through Generation 2. So, until then, they were the two mods that were... They were the ones that were made, was making changes, basically. And, um, like I said, it was fairly uncommon because there was no reason to be a physical electric type till generation 4 when, of course, the split at hand happened. Uh, before we actually talk about the electric mods themselves that are physical, I thought we'd go through the top 8 mods. I'm excluding Sekrom, this is a list, but outside of that, these mods are the ones with highest attack till these days, actually. So, at highest attack, of course, Electivar 1 and 23. Uh, followed by Luxray, introduced also Generation 4, mind you, with 1 and 20. Then comes we to Generation 5, which four Pokemon have been introduced. Thunders, both forms, 1 and 15 and 105, depending on. Though they are more common or famous for their special move pool, so goes for Electros, which is introduced here, where its uh, special move pool is, uh, well, in the purposes, a lot, very superior to its physical side, though it can be physical. It just isn't as good as its special side. But 115, definitely respectable. But then again, a bit on the slow side. Uh, then we come to Seb Striker, which is actually the fastest of those physical mods available, actually, which is just wow when it comes to that. But Seb Striker, while it has a 100 respectable attack, uh, it is definitely used for its move pool that is special for all reasons and stuff like that. Seb Striker's physical move pool is very underwhelming. And sadly, I should say, that is a running theme for these mods. The ones that have a physical stat usually doesn't are or aren't used for the special or the physical side at hand. Then in generation six, we're gonna introduce Mega Ampros. And I shouldn't really have to tell you that there is no real reason to use its physical move pool. Even though its physical moves was kinda cool with fire punch and stuff like that. It is just no comparing with a special attack at 165, it just isn't worth bothering with. And then of course, at the last pick is Raichu, or not last pick, last mod of the 8th place is Raichu. Which should give you a good idea on what really has happened to the tiers at hand, and Raichu represents 6 generations later, and being of course known for its special move pool as one of the strongest physical and electric types. So, with all that said, I thought I'd at least give my own few thoughts about both Luxray and Electivire as individual, the strongest mods available when you want a physical electric type. They are good ones. They really are. 1 and 20 attack is good. There is really no way that I could deny that fact. But they have a running theme, which sadly they do to differentiate themselves from your regular electric type. Because they aren't fast, they aren't fast hitters, they aren't momentum gainers in that fashion. They're used as wall breakers, and the wall breakers with a limited move pool, at least when it comes to Luxray, with crunch superpower, and of course its strongest stab, which is also an issue, and that is Wild Shard. We're gonna go over that a little bit actually. 
compared to a set of that luxuries due to its 70 base speed it's not gonna do a whole lot and the tier does represent that for it too it just it isn't that bad but at the same time it's just it's hardly good enough to work in this kind of environment the electric typing is a tough type it's a bad defensive typing only being weak to round yes but at the same time they are naturally frail luxury might have some bulk behind it but some bulk is just not enough from for electric type it just it isn't working and um, like i said the reference themselves for your actually their average electric type speed is I do believe 105 and having 70, that's um, that's a big issue and that's the reason Lux Trade just isn't used as much. It has the power to do something, it has a limited move pool, sure, but uh, it is definitely the speed that holds it back. It's, I would say its abilities are kind of nice, but uh, yeah, it's naturally just a bad mon. Electivar on the other hand is, by all sense and purposes, the purest of physical attackers and it has the electric typing put on it which is just about perfect but it also comes at the price like i said he is very alone as the only primary electric physical mon and has stood that for two generations now there are no no new revelation on it uh, electros might have got some halfway to go there and zip strike out while being in very uh, the right the right type of mon just didn't have the move pull for it. I mean, you got flame charge because you know if you have 116 in speed, you want flame charge. Everybody gets that, whatever. But uh, when it comes to Electivar, it is still below average speed for electro type uh, with, with 95 base, which is still good. Uh, definitely makes short out speed relevant mons, but of course, it simply is not enough. Uh, not as the generation has gone on with Mega Evolution introduced and stuff like that. It just has fallen behind, sadly. And it doesn't help, like I stated previously with Wild Charge. It is it is a weird move to actually kind of distinguish from other moves. And I talked about this on Twitter, actually. I compare Flare Blitz with Wild Charge. There was a distinct power advantage with Flare Blitz, being that they are quite similar in fashion. Um, but I do got called up with, of course, that Volt Tackle is probably the, the better suggestion for being, of course, exactly the same just that it's a signature move which makes it kind of unobtainable and there is a thing where it all starts for me while there are a limited number of electric mods that can be physical at least to the distinction um what they really lack are proper physical stab we have thunderbolt we have thunder there are ways to be bolt beaming really really well and that's a common trait in the higher tiers and OU and UU, you don't see physical <laughs> bolt. Uh, of course, Thunder Punch is not a problem. Wild Charge is really, really tough. The best Wild Charge in the game is actually for the time being Embor, and it is only due to Reckless. But uh, something that really has to change, or something I really want to see changing, is either lock up Volt Tackle for everyone uh, to make sure that every electric mod now has a proper physical stab. Wild Charge, while it just hurts a lot it does a lot of damage it just compare that to volt tackle and then you're missing out on with stab in mind of course guys you're missing out basically on 40 or 34 percent of damage that is out that you are missing and for me that's a distinct change if what someone could have done now i do believe fusion bolt should be locked to uh, sacrum and curing b and it, I find it kind of funny that the only mod that can use it in the higher tiers are the mod that has a fusion bolt on stabs, which is both Victini and uh, Sekrom actually, or Curum Black, I mean. But if fusion bolt were to be obtainable for a pleasure of mod, at least mods such as Substriker and stuff like that, I do believe that would help their cause because while most of these mods, like I said, they do get wild charge, electric mods themselves rarely to never have enough HP to actually utilize those moves properly. So for the time being, electric mods, if they want to be safe, use Thunder Punch to do damage. And compare Thunder Punch to Volt Tackle. Now I do, like I said, Volt Tackle is a recall move, I get that. But if we compare them to one another, then Volt Tackle is a 
46% with Sav in mind, stronger move. 46%. That's, that's a lot of damage that these mods are not getting. And for being a superior wall breaker, you really need to have that damage output onto your stab. You want to hit hard with your own typed move. And for the time being, physical electric type just can't pull that off. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's not really an issue. I really shouldn't put it like that. But that's definitely something that as generations as it goes on, it's been showcased that a few physical electric type just really doesn't have a place when it comes to competitive play. And I mean, seeing Electavar in, in NU, that's a testament of that. It's a strong mon with just too few strong moves. And uh, <laughs> it pains me to say it because it definitely looks like the mon that should do everything right, but it just doesn't get that. And uh, the only way that I could change is by raising wild charge or unlocking Vault Tackle for regular mods, unlocking Fusion Vault for regular mods, however way you want to see it, and make sure that these guys get proper stab to wall break effectively. And for next generation, please give us a mod that are actually physically in bond. If you're gonna give us a ground type with, of course, Electric Mon, don't do Stun Fist, do a freaking monster of a poke, or electric fighting type let that thing happen because we need something like that i do believe it's lacking in tier right now and that's something that i really want to see but until then i'm just gonna settle for well electivar so yeah with that all this said i really hope i gave you guys some insight on my own thoughts about electric mod you know the evolution of it and um really what are your own thoughts have you felt this way yourself that we lack these mods or is it just something that hasn't been boring you at all and it's kind of funny that it's a concept that probably is never going to be issued uh, either way write it down of course in the chat and or in chat in, in the comment section of course guys and i'll read it so thank you so much for watching this episode of pock topics and i see you next video until then take care bye